Just don't worry about full damage. Just think of the treasure. We'll go a little further here. I don't know if we'll... Uh, maybe I'll do this. Holy shit, I'm happy I'm getting this on camera. Because, yeah, sometimes this bug just happens. The textures just disappear. Story told you so. Cool. Right here. We'll go a fraction further. We'll back out. And then, yeah, you know what? We might as well do this. This level's not too bad, and it's got a very cool boss at the end. Soul Remains. If you read this message. What? What of it? Yeah, if you're not... If you're not, um... If you're not careful and you're quite unlucky, if a Storm Beast is, like, right there, and you're running away, its projectile will follow you. Not quite Deacons of the Deep Fireballs, as I make a Hello joke there. about. We meet again. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> There's somebody I ought to warn you about. A fellow who lacks common decency. They call him Patches the Hyena. And he's the one that laid that trap for me. He's the kind of person who'd stab his mother in the back. If you have to spot him, you'll be doing us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. I wish I was wearing my I'm Patches shirt. My, the Trust Me I'm Patches shirt. Have you been to the altar where sorcerers summon shadows? Well, I think someone may be trapped in the lower cavity. I heard them praying for dear life. Pity the poor fool. He probably fell for one of Patches' old tricks. I can confirm he did indeed fall for exactly that. Pity the poor fool. Yeah. So, he's upgraded his inventory a tiny bit. He now has kunais. A dark weapon dipped in poison. Used for throwing... Throw it to attack. Uh, for some reason, I thought there wasn't a full stop after, after the throwing. Yeah. Like the katana, it is a weapon from a distant land. So, he now... Uh, yeah, he sells shards of moonstone. Dark moonstone as well. This is identical... The bow is actually awesome here because there's a this is a great farming spot right ahead. All right, sick. So light arrows, far flying arrow with longer flight distance than a standard arrow. Ranged attacks require that a bow and arrows be equipped. Fire arrow, the arrowhead partially made of pine resin, which ignites when fire is applied, inflicts fire damage upon its target. And van lever set once again. You know what, we got the souls, fuck it. Fire, 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 yeah, <laughs> Why not? All done. Good day. Be sure not to get yourself killed. So unlike all the other merchants just about, Blight just kind of stays here. I don't blame him. It's a living. Sniper's perch indeed. This is exactly what I was talking about. Also, cutscene! Yay! Hey, it's that guy from the uh, remake trailer. The really, I guess, wow looking Reaper. That's kind of a cheap shot, I suppose. So, down at the altar, the Reaper is resurrecting the Shadow Men themselves. The things that are said to inhabit the Shrine of Storm. Hmm. These should be kunais? They are indeed kunai. Tsubarashi. So these guys are weak to every damage source in terms of resistances, but that'll hurt that hit. As you can see, not very hard. Four hits at plus four. Reaper Chan down there is responsible for these guys being alive. So if we take him out, they all die. If you snipe him from here, well... You get like thirteen hundred. You get like thirteen thousand souls. It's not not bad. Let's block and just have a look. So we can tank it. I've got. Them. Guess we got some iframes. So these guys aren't too bad either. You can just kind of wail on them and get souls. But yeah. Beautiful. We'll head back in a moment. We'll just progress a little bit. Yep. Good shit there. Kind of annoying, in fact. Oh. Hope it's not a third one in the corner. There is indeed. 
Oh, spacing. We can go for it. We got this. Yeah, we can easily free shot them. Perfect. So yeah, Shrine of Storms is awesome if you want to power level really quick. Really good. Ah uh, yeah, so they will infinite res infinitely respawn until the Reaper himself is dead. So in fact, I'm sorry, um, Blue Oyster Cult, you effectively lie. We have every right to fear the Reaper. Even though he is awesome for farming purposes. Yeah, that was kind of lame, I admit. Speaking of which, Reaper Chan... Whoa, fuck. Reaper Chan can be a real fuck, so we'll, uh, we're gonna heal right up. He has the strongest attack in the game. I'm not... That's not hype. That's not exaggeration. Um, oh, you remind me of something I have to talk about too. He's not gonna do it. You might notice the elongated finger. He has Touch of Death. It does what you think it might do based upon that name. So yeah, we got a lot of souls. So it's not 13,000, I'm thinking of a different spot. But yeah, that finger will insta-kill. Um, one other thing. I was talking about the remake trailer that came out today. Someone posted a screenshot I noticed, um, before we step on the Switch. Where there's going to be an exclusive pre-order weapon, the Reaper Scythe. So from killing these guys, you can get the War Scythe, which is a pole arm. Um, it's basically acts like the mid and hammer, the mid and hammer and how the halberds work in general, except with a bit of bleed. So I'm going to assume it's a reskin of that, but really Sony, pre-order weapons in a Souls game, that's the kind of stuff that makes me a little nervous about the remake. Hmm, it's, uh, I don't know, like the remake's probably going to be fine. There's just all these little things that add up that make me kind of nervous about it. I mean, the true Demon Soul started at Phalanx, but sure. So yeah, if there's a lot of the dead uh, Storm Beasts here, isn't there? Oh, by the way, this is what I will describe as the Get Fucked, um, Get Fucked Cliff. Um, low level, this is a fucking pain, I can tell you that much. Big ass pain. There's a lot of skeletons, and those storm beasts are rather aggressive. I'll tell you that for free. Right. Now, I mentioned something about the Disciple of God hanging out. Well, that's his name. Um, at the Nexus. Until we get a gentleman named Urbane. Nice, Scythe. You, you do you, man. You do you. So, uh... Blight uh, warned us of a fellow named Patches. Now, there's only one other, other human NPC Barb Lige in this area that we've seen. Wonder if this is Patches. Hmm. So, if this is Patches, we might just find Urbane. Which will mean Disciple of God will leave. Which really doesn't matter. The only thing we're going to miss out on is that, um, the lady, uh, what, what, how would I describe her? Um, the female worshipper. Oh, the demons haven't got to you, have they? Well, <laughs> I'm in luck. You see that pit? It's filled with treasure. But, uh, I can't get to it myself. Go on, have a look. It's more riches than I've ever dreamed of. That's it. That pit just there. Go on, get a little closer. So before I delve into this gentleman right here, and uh, what he is. Yeah, the, the female worshipper, if you have 20 faith, which obviously, well, we need fucking nine levels, um, before Urbane shows up, she will give you a pure um, faint stone. Yeah, it's called faint stone, yeah, which is uh, the blessed infusion. Now, there is a crystal lizard that will, I'm pretty sure, just about always give you at least one in the Valley of Defilement. And I'm probably not going to faith build. Just call it a hunch. Looking at my stats at this point. I don't think we're going to be worrying about faith too much. So we can always get that and dupe it. But it's the one thing you lock yourself out of. What's keeping you? Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then we'll work out a way to fish it out. So just like in uh, Dark Souls 1, in Tomb of the Giants, 
He isn't lying. There is treasure. He's not so much lying as withholding we information, Shadow, though. Then we'll work. So we'll just have a look from this angle, shall we? On pure white tendency. Um, this this is item down there, and on pure white tendency, it will not be on the rock. That is the weapon Satsuki is after, the Makoto. So that's pretty cool. But because we're on anything but pure white, oh well, it's stuck on a rock. <laughs> Don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time, starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> So Patches also shows up in 2-2, second Stone Fang level, but I often get here first. We'll deal with you in a second. So that's the Makoto right there. In the meantime, let's go have a chat to this priestly, priestly looking gentleman. Think hard. So if you kill Urbane, which I don't know why you would, what'll happen is... You can, um, apparently there's a way to dupe the ephemeral eyes he'll drop. The stone of ephemeral eyes. But for now, let's have a conversation, shall we? Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. But dark, fearsome souls stand between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me. Umbasa. Dude, there's an edgelord with dual katanas there. I don't think God's gonna fucking help us. Heavens. Did, well, the river, but dark, but have yep. pray with me. Umbasa. You're, uh, you're very helpful, Urbane. So he is wearing the preset. Which we can find in the Valley of Defilement. Because yeah, there's a lot of priest shit there. Now the fact I'm doing this level might suggest I'm good enough for 5-1. And yeah, I probably am. Uh, we'll see if we get to the boss here. I might just go for a fraction longer than call it quits. But now nah, we'll probably end up doing it. Alright, you. Have at thee. Fucking weeb. And I missed. Let's come to us, I'll jump out and use the Mirden Hammer. Let's do wheels and have a Trading. We win, at least. And we've got some passive regen, at least. You know, if I'm gonna two-hand this, I might as well use the, uh, Adjudicators. Holy fuck. No, he's faster than us. Two-handing's an awful idea. Instead, let's try to get it on the instability. So he's also wearing the priest robes, too. Interesting enough. Wait, no, is he? Or is that? No, I think that's Frake's stuff. What am I saying? Yeah, that's the, um... The oh, Venerable Sages set. Hmm. I wouldn't think too hard about that, and no, that's not me being like, oh, 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 oh there's, a, there's no reason for that. Um, I don't think that's necessarily intentional or meant to imply anything about Frake. Could be wrong, though. Oh, it's you. Yeah? Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? God has chosen you, and for that we are thankful. Umbasa. Save a line, priesty. God has chosen, chosen you, and for that, that we are thankful. Umbasa. Uh, what a sporting hunt it was. That's a shitty gas quang. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Beautiful. So we uh, took out Weeb. Weebman. Dual Katana Black Phantom Man. Now Urbane is free, and once we press this switch, we will too be free. Also, we have someone to contend with, don't we? What have you got to say for yourself, Patches? You, you. Hey, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, I mean, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. 
We need to stick together. I know. Here, take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. <laughs> Come on! Let's be friends! What do you say? No need to drag each other down. No need to drag each other down. <sighs> Patches. I'd say I'm disappointed, but you know. But you know. So, as per usual, he's wearing the equivalent of the Thief set, minus the headpiece. And he has a wing spear and a decent um, large shield. So he has his adjudicators here, hence his little HP regen aura going on. No need to drag. So I can't remember if he has the same beef with clerics in this game. I mean, evidently he does anyway, but he's just kind of a dick to anyone. But yeah. I don't know if it, I'm pretty sure it's just people's head cannons about the whole idea that Patches was somehow affiliated with uh, the, you know, the priesties and all that in Dark Souls, or the faith as some descript, and he became disillusioned, or he just got dicked over by a priest and he's like, oh, fuck this, and sought vengeance. Hidden passage. We also, break, uh, we also broke some shit. Sorry, uh, Shadowman. Sorry, Shadowman. Oh, look at that. Look at that treasure. Look at that treasure. Look at all that meat just waiting to be carved. Ah, well, if Pudge was going to have any weapon, it would be the guillotine axe, wouldn't it? Now, I was talking about certain friends. Thank Christ it ain't the Black Phantom variation. Ah, uh, yeah, as you can see, he got stronger. Did I mention he got stronger? Alright, we're going to see what we can do here. Because I want to go on this clip face and do some shit. There's a good chance he's about to kill me. Yeah, so look at that. I have how much stamina? 18, endurance. And he almost guard broke me. With a large shield with 65. Um, guard break. Resistance. You know what? Fuck this. Ah, shit. Wrong way. Oh, well. He'll be going for it, so we can get some cheeky back. You know, I've got something just for the occasion. I brought with me some turpentine exactly for this. Except it's not really worth applying right now, because we'll just get the backstabs while we can. Just go ahead. Just look at that skeleton. What are you doing, mate? Get hold of that treasure. Get hold of that. Look at you, mate. Surely you want it. Go on, soul remains, my friend. Soul remains. Oh, I circle strafe and attempt to backstab you, as such. Okay, that sound gave me false hope that I killed him, which I knew there was no fucking way. We are stun locking a skeleton through pure bullshit. Look at all those fucking souls, man. So one of those will get you a single lot of sticky white stuff from Grave, um, Grave Robber Blige. You know, with this dumb helmet, our face doesn't look that bad. So yeah, uh, this is the first second world I've done. So you'll see the thing of... You're seeing the thing of... Enemies in the second level have way more health. Actually, wait, what am I saying? No, it's not. Fucking Tower Knight. One, two. So this is the whole thing of like... It's getting a little hard to uh, predict how to nail them. And they kind of do their little shitty fly away because they get super butt hurt. you hit them. Ah, oh, fuck this. Can I just lock on? Come on. You fucking kidding me, man? Oh, come on. I'd give up, but I want to get him. He's almost dead. Fucking Christ. Holy shit, that was like half, half a minute. Oh, well. Main reason I wanted to get at least one of them. Hey friends, you uh, can't drop there to my knowledge. There is a glitch you can pull off down there though. Main reason is because look. No you fucking don't. 
Second R1. We're roll catching the lizard effectively. Not really. Yeah, these guys have a lot of health, don't they? So this guy can drop a pure Dark Moonstone. But it's kind of rare. Speaking of rare goods, though, have a look at this. So this is right back to the start, and now we have a white bow. How divine. It's not really divine, I'm just saying it. To be completely honest, eh? Hmm. So while we're here, I don't think the skeleton will have respawned, but we'll have to go check. So yeah, 30 strength and 24. Uh, Dex. So as you can see, the um, 30 strength is being met because of two-handedness, so... Perfect. I was correct in that regard. A white bow made of gnarled wood with two entwining strings. It is a legendary weapon said to be impossible for a human to handle. It has extremely long range. 75. I think Siggy Infusions will outrange it in the end, but... Yeah. So, it's not stated there, but... Um, when later on you find out that it's wielded by that lady I was talking about, um, Longbow Ulan, the one that became the Phalanx, or at least the lead demon of the Phalanx. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's alright. Ah, oh, fuck. It's another one of those things where it's like, um, with Colors Demon Souls, it'll, come on, you kidding me? It'll, you will actually manage to upgrade the damage scaling. The problem is, though, I don't think it'll ever add damage a normal upgraded bow with good stats. Okay, they haven't all respawned. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. So, um, I was talking about that Satsuki fella. Later on, um, once we've made more progress, in another episode, most likely, we will do that whole side quest of getting the Makoto. Subarashi. You get it? Because he's Japanese. Fine blade from my eastern run. Okay, that was a little... Not great. Sorry, man. We'll chat to you in a sec. Haha, <laughs> you're still broken in the footage. <laughs> oh, if it's uh, if it's repaired, I'm going to look fucking dumb. But it, it, it's been confirmed by Lance McDonald. You're fucking broken in that trailer. I don't know if I should be happy about that, but just pointing that out. Well, I remember you. I'm glad I found you. I found some really nice trinkets. Well, we've been long acquainted, so I'm willing to part with them at a special price. But only if you buy today. Only if, of course. So he has some good grass. Um, Archstone. Neat. Yeah, he sells better stuff as we go later on. Now this thing. The Fragrant Ring. A nobleman's ring forged with spices recover recovers MP a little at a time. An extremely rare, extremely delicate piece of handiwork. Surprisingly not but made by Jerry, friend of Sage Frake. Uh, apparently some other people can make magical handicrafts. So the noble um the noble class will begin with that ring, which gives you hypothetically infinite soul arrows we will find that in three two second latria but for the meantime stolen i swear of course not i no longer partake in the whole corpse robbing thing yeah no i'm completely free from my vice uh, my old mother would be proud indeed aren't you proud of me too Mate, Patches, I'm so happy you broke the habit. <laughs> yep, like your old mother, I'm so bloody proud of you, mate. Can you see that priest and his disciples over there? They still don't trust me after that little incident behind the altar. Shouldn't they believe in forgiving and forgetting and all that? Well, I have news for them. Praying has not put food in my mouth, nor anyone else's. I love how shitty his head looks in this game. Yeah, no, I'm completely free from my vibe. Aren't you? Mate, patches. Well, do as you please, but you may yet regret refusing my offer. Mate, I'm so bloody proud of you, patches. It's it's amazing, well, really. We've been long acquainted, so I'm willing to. 
Alright, let's buy something. Heavy arrow, fuck it, let's buy a few just to satisfy. Nice stuff, eh? <laughs> Come again. Then I'll be awaiting. Patches, you scallywag. Let's see what he says. Well, we okay, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, see you later. So thanks for reminding me, Patches. So... Yeah, I was pretty sure about this. This guy hangs around for uh, at least a while longer. I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually leave. My... You have rescued the Honourable One. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great onus. Oh, thank God. Umbasa. Thank God indeed, Umbasa. Oh. Lord Abane back. The magicians will have to watch themselves. Thanks to his holy miracles, you brave battlers of demons will no longer be solely dependent on dark magic. Isn't it wonderful? Surely the demon slayers have awaited such an opportunity. Eh. Do you have any connection to Patches the Hyena? I trust not. He is a depraved, vile man, and he deserves no allies. I hope that an outstanding hero such as yourself is selective when making associations. By the way, I highly recommend the companionship of the jovial sage Urbane. Have you heard the rumors about Astraea of the Valley of Defilement? They claim that she and her royal knight have become demons and lead a clan of degenerate miscreants. In truth, the rumors are surely unfounded. There are all sorts of wrongdoers down there who would think up such nonsense. Yet if the rumors are true, then may she be eternally damned for her debasement of the Lord's name. Forgive and, uh, forgive and forget, eh? Patches, uh... Yet if the rumors are Patches true, was on to something, I guess. Before we talk to him, let's have a chat over here. Thank goodness, the Lord has not forgotten me yet, for he has reunited me with Saint Urbane. I shall serve him and pray with him, and thus express my faith in God. Mbasa. I shall always be. That is the purpose for which God hath put me upon this earth. Sorry, I kind of skipped that first line. I shall always be by Saint Urbain's side. That is the perp. Yeah, alright. So, we should be good in that regard. I'm gonna whack this on because I'm gonna do the swollen demon's soul. But first of all, let's get some levels. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the demon inside me. A little controversial, but um, I'm not a big fan of the effects they have on her voice in the trailer. It feels a little overdone. But that could just be me, you never know. <laughs> Alright, um, what else to get? You know what? Two spell slots, baby. Now we can get one more level. Yeah, look, I'm going for like a pseudo strength build, but I'm gonna bump these up sooner or later. My magic's always gonna be a secondary thing, no matter what I do. Um, yeah, it's just kind of gonna be the way. I could get a little. I'm gonna at least go to 14 faith um, to get a second miracle, just for convenience, because there's some cool shit to use. I'm probably not gonna be using that really broken miracle. Um. Or at least I'll show it off, but I won't be using it that often as consequence. Which we can get from the next boss. In the meantime, though, I reckon, look, more endurance is going to be useful. Let's have a chat. I keep the candles no, okay, nothing else. Art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. Yeah, no, it's nice she's back for the, well, the same voice actress. I forget her name. Um, it's nice she's back for the re for the remake, but 
Yeah, no, like, this entire area looks really nice, but I don't know. I'll get into it, but let's just have a chat here first. Oh, he's coming to get us. Scytheman. King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Valifax and Bjor. Alfred, the knight of the tower. Metas, the knight of the lance. And the brave tribesman, Longbow Ulan and his fearsome legions. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost, and Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, have been devoured by the fog, and will soon be prey to the demons. The Boletarian knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. Well, that's good. I kind of figured he wouldn't have any more to say. But perhaps... Okay, so that's nice to clarify. Um, there is a reason that it'll become more apparent why I was calling Ulan female. But that's nice he, you know, mentioned it's a male. Well, he, <laughs> it's a, it's a male. Yeah, um, hmm. So Alfred, the Tower Knight, um, Metas, Knight of the Lance. So curiously enough, um... When he says the lance, he's talking about another knight. Not the one we fought, apparently. Which is weird. Because the third boss of Boletaria does not use a lance. But hey. What a wonderful kind of day. So I was doing this um, earlier. Also, I'll go through the talk options again. I got some dialogue I was not expecting from Baldwin about Ed and such. So I'll have to check that out. So with this, if you don't have enough doesn't matter you can still perform the glitch so just as a reminder square instead of hitting x start now you talk to thomas go down to your item so we can do gray demon and the swollen we'll do swollen first and right as we hit okay you mash you have to heart. back out or you will be put for a loading screen i mean look if you're doing the duping glitch losing the souls really doesn't matter and it's not like I can get a lot more with what I've got right now. I'm just doing this for completionist sake, really. So, Grey Demon Soul yeah, will uh, only make Medoza Axe, which I'm... Yeah, no, I definitely mentioned previously. Oh, cool, we got a lot of Half Moon Grass. Neat. Very cool. Hmm, one thing that we can do is... How much heavier is the Compound Longbow? Also, we can probably, um... Huh, we can probably wear some heavier armor on top of that. So this is just going to be straight up better. So let's do some upgrading. It's got better range. Yeah. So we go to plus three. No further. Um, we can start doing the sticky infusion if we go back to Baldwin. Uh, I mean Ed, sorry. So let's have a look. 51, uh, sorry. 60, 51. Yeah. 151, 160. Cool. We'll dump some stuff and then we'll get back to it. I will dupe this stuff later. I'm not going to be using it right now. Again, more so just to get more value out of it. Baby's Nail is not going to be worth it. Killage, I'm not going to be using. Shuttle, I'm not going to be using. Uchi, I'm not going to be using. Club, I'm obviously not using. White Bow. It's not that heavy, amazingly. So it's actually lighter weight, which is cool. I'll keep you for heals. Leather Shield can go. Uh, you can go. Crescent can go. Look, I'm not using a claymore. I'm probably not using that. I'm probably just going to stick with the axe. Got a lot of arrows, but that isn't a problem. We can get rid of all the armor. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, uh, yeah, so he gave us a second gash resistance, so we don't need that. Um, get rid of three of these. I'm keeping the zombie for invasion's sake. And the skeletons can bleed us out, but they haven't thus far. Which is good. Kunai can go because I don't think I can poison anything. Radio, I'm going to take a quick a moment here. And when we return, well, you know. It's Wait, actually, what am I doing? Your... Let's have a look. New dialogue. I'm pretty strong myself. But even I don't compare to all that. Man's a beast, I tell you. Man must eat dragon tails and wishing stones. If you heed my advice, you'll avoid crossing him. I reckon he'd prove a lot more trouble than most demons. <laughs> so 
So if there's some cool lore about these two once we get into uh into two two, but for now I won't talk about it. Deep inside Stonefang Mine is an ancient dragon burial ground. The bones of the dragons exude ore. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Deep inside Stone Bones. Okay. There was something I missed. I can tell. Um, about him and Ed's relationship. I'll look it up once I've taken my break. This is mostly to get a drink of water, use the bathroom, etc. We're gonna beat this today, damn it. Alright. See you in a moment. Okay, whatever that fucking works. I'm, I'm done with I'm going. <laughs>